This is me eight years ago, never thinking I'd ever pick up a golf club again. And this is me last July, thinking that I'd be good at golf with that swing. In this journey, I've had some awful swings. Especially accommodating for my slice. <laughs> I tried hitting some flop shots. Wow. One more. <laughs> and again. But still having fun despite having an awful swing. So that brings us here to Westbridge Golf Course, where uh, we're going to be. Uh, it's probably where you see most of my uh, practice videos. Um, got the clubs in the back. Got to work on a few things: shallowing the golf swing, uh, and fixing the backswing. Honestly, those are probably two things I'll focus on today. I think the backswing causes a lot of uh, issues. Obviously, I'm no pro, so hey, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But anyways, let's get to it. That was probably one of, if not the most successful rain sessions I've ever had. I'll show y'all in just a second. Check this out. So obviously, you know, we've had some, uh, some good stuff happen. As you can see, the five iron, you go over the top a lot, you know, with that pattern right there, huge over the top. But today, I use the nine mostly. Spread that up quite, quite good. And then seven, same as well. I didn't really touch any other club. Uh, obviously, driver and three wood, but I'd say it's pretty damn successful. But uh, we'll go take a look at home and see uh, see what's up. All right, so we are back at home. Uh, I just want to show you guys quickly the top of the clubs to show swing path. Uh, I noticed that in the video that I did next to my car, you guys couldn't really see. Uh, so. The five iron, which is the club that I used last uh, playing, uh, is right here. And you guys can see maybe the light's kind of weird. Yeah, there you go. That's better. We're kind of going down. So I'm slicing across it. Um, and I didn't clean them since I last played. So that's why it's like that. Whereas today I only use the nine and seven. And so this is the nine. And let me get the light right. So you can definitely see how that's a lot more into out. And then we have the seven. Uh, there you go same type of thing a lot more into out no really out to in and uh, when I mentioned in the car that I wanted to fix my backswing it's because I have a tendency to have a really shallow backswing um, so it doesn't make it to where I'm able to like actually get through the ball I kind of have to go over the top to get to it anyways uh, so I really worked on going up shortening the backswing as well and then coming inside out um, and that seemed to help today uh, we'll see when we go look at the videos um, but yeah, I used nine, seven, uh, pitching wedge and 56 to warm up with. And then I hit three wood and driver. Three wood is a new three wood. Um, so not that great with it yet. Still getting used to it. 
and then driver uh, I hit two good ones and two bad ones so I didn't really do a lot of that today but uh we'll go take a look at them and uh, see what we find so before we look at some of my other swings I wanted to explain how I like to warm up uh, basically here you can see I'm just hitting my 56 degree uh, I used to just kind of get up there and just hit that thing, you know what I'm saying? Just instantly be like, all right, this is what I'm working on today. Let's instantly try to fix everything. And then I just get too many swing thoughts in my head and then I just get really mad at myself. So probably the first 15 or so were shot. Yeah, there was a nice block left. Uh, probably the first 15 or so shots I like to just, you know, warm up, get loose, not really care about anything. Uh, I'll still take some practice swings or, you know, the motion that I like, but I don't really sit there and think about what I want to change. Uh, so, yeah, let's go look at some swings. So this is probably my first swing that I'm happy with, and I'm using Pitching Wedge here. And I know it sounded thin, but it was center, um, which I was really happy with. Um, normally, if I'm hitting a good shot, like out on the course, it's toey, like I hit the toe, um, and it just feels not good, obviously. So even if it goes the distance that I want, it doesn't feel good. Uh, so here, take another one. I think I'm happy with this one as well. As you can see, I'm rehearsing. And... Yeah, I mean, that just that, that was the good sound. And I hold that same position. So I was really happy with those two swings. Um, obviously, it's not perfect. And as I said before, I'm not some, you know, amazing, you know, golf swing analyzer or anything like that. But it's just, compared to what I'm used to seeing, I was really happy with those. Let's see how this third one looks. If we can go three for three course not but hey you know <laughs> all right let's see uh, what we got for seven iron and everything else so these ones I can't tell because the camera's really wide but I liked the way that I remember liking the way most of these felt but I did notice and it looks like I'm kind of looking that way where it's fading a lot more than I'm used to because like I said I've been hooking everything recently um, pretty badly actually uh, or having a draw so I, I'm thinking and I could be wrong um, I'm leaving the face open because I'm not cutting over the top here as much. Um, and I think this one does the same thing. And that one looked a little steep. I can't, I couldn't really tell without drawing a line through my body. Um, but whatever I've changed, it's making me faded again. Um, so that was a little bit annoying, but I did like that I was hitting the center of the face. I think that was, that was the happiest thing about everything. So it wasn't really bothering me too much, but I, I did wish that I wasn't fading it. So this will be the last of the iron shots that I show. Um, this one actually draws. And I like the contact on that. I don't think it went that far. I, I, I might have thinned it or whatever, but I just wanted to emphasize that I'm not, uh, obviously I'm not gonna be hitting perfect shots. It's just, I'm trying to take these small wins, no mean. So if I get good contact, I get good contact. Obviously I'd like to be in to out, then out to in. Uh, that one looked like it faded. I can't really tell though. Um, so, uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys my mindset, you know, through these shots, because obviously after the, uh, the rain session, I was like, this is one of my best rain sessions ever. Uh, it's just because, you know, I had a lot of small wins. I felt like, I don't think this one's good at all. I remember this last one. Yeah, it was a <laughs> nice little thin. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of wanted to talk to, talk to y'all about my mindset, you know, hitting not great shots, but still hitting, you know, getting, getting a win, whether it's contact or feeling the swing being good or you know, good through swing or, or whatever. So I did want to show y'all a three wood swing. Um, this three wood, like I said, I got it used. Uh, I think I said that at least, and I still slice three wood, um, unfortunately. So you'll see the slice here. Sheesh. Yeah, that's clearly over the top there. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that <laughs> I'm working on that still. Uh, but we do have driver here, which I do draw. Um, which is good. Um, I either hit draw or straight. Uh, I believe this, this, I put the best driver in here. Uh, this one just goes left of that, uh, yeah, just left of that, I guess that candy cane stick you guys see up there. And I was really happy with that one. Um, so that's just kind of where those, those two clubs are at right now. Uh, I think I'll do more in-depth videos later <laughs> regarding those things, but yeah, I just want to put those two things in there. All right. So that's, uh, that's my uh, practice session for the day. Um, just kind of wanted to, uh, I guess, document this stuff. I'm not, I've am not. i never really vlogged in my life, um, but I kind of want to make this channel to, I guess, improve. Uh, I'm on the road to 100 right now, baby. We're trying to break 100. So if you, you guys want to come along with that, uh, give me any tips, 
video or golf swing otherwise you know I'll, I'll, I'd be happy to see that and uh, also I feel like there's a lot of people that uh, need to see the uh, the guy who used to shoot, shoot 160 and now shoots 110 you know kind of kind of make us come up so here we are uh, hope you all enjoyed the video and uh, hope to speak to you soon